All right. Here is our real-time switch and helicopter uh, test bed. We have three nodes here. The first node is the proxy node, which directly connects to the Quonser 3DOF helicopter through the Quonser Q4 ADDA board. The second node is the real-time switch. We have implemented my real-time switch algorithm onto this Zilinx ML401 FPGA. The third node is the control node. When the application is running, the proxy node will sense the current position of the helicopter through its uh, ADDA board and send the sense data through this real-time switch into this control node. The control node will, will carry out the control logic uh, and generate the actuation command. The actuation command will be sent through this real-time switch back into the uh, proxy node and the proxy node uses the DA board to control the helicopter. All right, let's run this distributed control application. We will first activ activate the proxy ap application, the proxy program on the proxy node. Okay, start it. Now the next step is to start the control program on the control node. camera to a stable place. Uh, okay. Okay, let's start the control program. Once the control program is started, the helicopter starts to fly. It will stabilize to its reference position, the position zero. And then through this control program, we can set the helicopter to fly to another, other uh, reference positions. For example, let's let the helicopter fly a little bit higher, 10 degrees higher. Okay, let's turn it 45 degrees clockwise. Another 45 degrees. Another 45 degrees. Another 45 degrees and 10 more degrees higher. Okay. For another 45 degrees. For another 45 degrees. Turn another 45 degrees. Another 45 degrees. And go back to the original position. All right. Let's take a closer look at these three nodes. On the proxy node, it has two boards. The first board is the Q4 ADDA board, which senses the helicopter's position and sends the actuation uh, analog commands, and then uh, analog control. The second board on the proxy node is this um, Zilinx ML505 FPGA. It serves as a PCI network interface card. It connects through these three wires to the real-time switch to the port zero. And then on the control node, we also have another, uh, we have another Zilinx ML505 board serving as, ML, ML505 FPGA board serving as the PCI network interface card. And these are the three wires that connect these, this network interface card back to the real-time switch. And the sampling rate and the control rate um, are 100 hertz. You can see that, to show that the real-time switch is the connection point between the control node and the proxy node, I will just turn off this real-time switch and you will see that 
the control loop is broken, the helicopter will fall down. Alright, so train off. See the helicopter falls down. Yeah, that's it. Thanks.